Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang severe case ng COVID-19. Ano yung mga symptoms, treatments, kailan ka lalagyan ng ventilator, and bakit ka nagkaroon despite of being healthy. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Guys, ha panood ko yung video ng What If. I'll put their link down below. Uh, very interesting, very educational about COVID-19, yung mga severe case. And I listed down the important details that I think that will benefit you and benefit us. Medyo simplified, hindi ganun ka-technical. This video is created only for information and awareness regarding COVID-19. So, ano-ano nga ho ba yung mga common symptoms ng COVID-19? So, there is the fever, fatigue, dry cough, loss of appetite, shortness of breath, may plema, sore throat, headache, um, nilalagnat, loss or smell or taste, stuffy nose, nausea, vomiting, and pagtatae. Normally, meron ho yun sa mild at severe case ng COVID. So, ano ho ba ang mga symptoms na kailangan nyo para tumawag na talaga sa emergency? Una, is shortness of breathing. Uh, masyadong mahirap huminga, tapos constant pain sa dibdib, may pressure sa chest. It might lead to pneumonia, respiratory diseases, and kidney failure. That's why kailangan mo nang tumawag or pumunta sa ospital. Dito sa Qatar, meron tayong pwedeng tawagan ang 16,000 hotline ng Ministry of Public Health. So, pwede mo sa kanilang sabihin ng symptoms mo kasi mamaya it's uh, not yet severe enough to require treatment. So, they might give you medications muna or they will send you an ambulance para i-pick up ka and dalhin sa malapit na COVID hospitals. Ngayon, kung di nila ka sa hospital, dalawa lang naman ang pwedeng gawin sa yung test, either ang swabbing or blood testing. Dalawa lang naman yan. Either gagaling ka or mas lalala ang case mo. Pag lumala, you will have severe breathing problems, high fever, headaches, and nausea. Pag critical level na ang oxygen sa blood mo, bibigyan ka nila ng high flow nasal oxygen. Pag hindi pa rin talaga, ilalagay ka na sa mechanical ventilation. Ito na ang last life-saving effort. And itatanong nyo, Why only mild to other people but could be fatal to others despite of being healthy? It is caused by abnormal immune response to the infection caused by the virus. If yung cell ay nakadetect ng virus, automatic ang cell's response is to kill itself. Protective mechanism to prevent it to spread to other cells. Um, kapag po marami ng cells ang namatay, tissues will also die. Ito po yung tinatawag na cytokine storm. In COVID-19, ang lung tissue breaks down and walls leak the fluid through, causing ho ang pneumonia and starving the blood from oxygen. Your body is attacking yourself. Ito po ay common occurrence sa COVID-19 severe symptoms. But the good news are, marami na ding trials and testing ng treatments that could stop cytokine storm and fight COVID-19. Marami pag-aaral ang focus on antiviral medication called Remdesivir na ginawa para sa Ebola outbreak noon. Sobrang dami na din ang clinical analysis of proposed COVID-19 drugs. So manatili po tayong ligtas at gawin ang mga safety precautions na pinag-uutos ng ating gobyerno mapa sa Pilipinas human tayo or nandito sa Qatar para ho tayo ay makaiwas sa COVID-19. I hope may natutunan kayo sa video ko today. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell para manotify kayo once I uploaded a video like this. Thank you, God bless, and keep safe. Bye! Under known does not recommend or endorse any specific test, physicians, products, procedures, opinions, or other information that may be mentioned in this video, reliance on any information provided by the under known is solely at your own risk. So, important po yun. Kailangan din pa rin syempre um, mag-rely tayo sa doctor and sa hospital 